In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to corporations. First question, a stock dividend is recorded with A, debit to paid in capital, B, debit to retained earnings, C, credit to retained earnings, D, credit to paid in capital, or E, does not affect any account. So let's go through this again and we will use the process of elimination to narrow this down. A stock dividend is recorded with either A, a debit to paid in capital. And note, I won't do this right now, but if, if you see a question that has to do with a journal entry, which this does, then you, you may want to try to actually record the journal entry first and then go through it. We're going to use the process of elimination, so I won't do that now. But uh, just note that that's the best way to do it because oftentimes they're only going to give you, as we do here, half the journal entry. And so we'll get the debits and credits mixed up, which we could verify fairly easily if we actually write down the debit and credit. So um, I, would, I would suggest if you, if you can think through the journal entry to actually write that down first. So A says debit to paid in capital. So a stock dividend is recorded with. So if we have a, a stock dividend, um, we're going to hit paid in capital. Uh, we might think that paid in capital, usually when we have a distribution, paid in capital is when we issue stock, paid in capital is sometimes affected it's in the equity section. So I'll keep that for now. B says debit to retained earnings. And when we do a dividend, usually retained earnings, something happens to it. So I'll keep that for now. C says credit to retained earnings. And again, here's these two are the same, B and C, except for a debit and credit. So that would indicate that maybe it's one of those two, since they're the same except for the difference between debit and credit. And then D says credit to paid in capital. And again, A and D are the exact same, except for the difference between debit and credit. So I'll keep that. And then E, we're not narrowing anything down too much here, but E says does not affect any account. And that's unlikely. That seems like just uh, something they ran out of answers because these two are opposite, so they had one left. So that looks like they just kind of put that in there because they didn't, because they were done here. So we'll cross that out. So we'll, now we'll see if we can record this. So we'll go through this again. A stock dividend is recorded with. Now a dividend basically is we're going to distribute some of the re earnings to the owners in the form of a dividend. So when we do that, in this case, we're going to do it, however, uh, by, by issuing stock. When we issue a normal dividend, you would think the credit would be cash. You know, well, the credit wouldn't be cash, it would be a payable at the point of time that we issue it. We'd have a payable of some amount on the credit side, and then we would have a debit to either dividends or just retained earnings. It's coming out of the earnings. And that's going to be the, the normal type of operation. Now, whether it be cash or whether it be uh, stocks, we're still going to have three dates. The date that we decide to do it and the date that we're going to, whoever is a stockholder at that point is going to be the one that gets the dividend and then a date of payment. So that means that whether we pay cash or a dividend, we're still going to go to like this payable when we initially record the dividend. So that means it's not going to be paid in capital. Uh, because we're, it's not going to be paid in capital because that's going to be like the, the uh, related to the issuing of stock. It wouldn't be that anyways because it would be common stock. So it doesn't look like it's going to be A or D. We're left with B and C, which is retained earnings, which makes sense. And then the, it's just the question, is it going to go, is it going to be debited or credited? And writing down the journal entry helps with that. It also just note that uh, retained earnings, like most normal equity accounts, is a credit balance account. If we're paying out of retained earnings to the owners, it's going to go down. So we're going to do the opposite thing to it, which will be a debit. So we're going to debit retained earnings. Final answer, B. Final answer, a stock dividend is recorded with B. Debit to retained earnings. <laughs> Next question. Stock uh, reacquired A. Capital stock. B. Treasury stock, C. Asset stock, D. Preferred stock, or E. Callable stock. Okay, let's go through the process of elimination. Stock reacquired, A. Capital stock. So if we reacquired the stock, it's probably something different than just like the normal stock, right? Now it's, capital stock is the stock that we issue to out to the market. So if we, 
whoever owns stock generally owns capital stock. If we buy our own stock back, it's probably going to call it something different than capital. So that's kind of weird to, for, to that to happen. So we're going to say that, that's not it. B says treasury stock. And treasury stock, sound, it probably sounds familiar. You've probably heard the term treasury stock. So maybe that's it. You know, that sounds like a special different type of stock. C says stock, uh, asset stock, which that doesn't sound like anything really that I mean normal stocks are assets if we buy another stock for a different company then we would buy an investment that would be an asset but if we buy our own stock it doesn't asset stock doesn't even sound like a thing so I'm gonna say that doesn't sound like it and then D says preferred stock which again that's like a term that's another stock term we've probably heard of so that might be hmm maybe that's it and then E says callable stock and again that sounds like a thing you know you callable stock so maybe that would be it. So I'm going to keep B, D, and E. Go through it again. Stock reacquired is either B, D, or E. Either treasury stock or preferred stock or callable stock. And of those three, you kind of just got to know what, you know, what the term is. And in this case, it's going to be treasury stock. So treasury stock is going to be what we bought back. So if a company issues stock out there, buys their own stock back, we're going to debit treasury stock, which is in the equity section, a contra equity account, and we will um, credit cash for that purchase. It's kind of an unusual thing to happen. Treasury stock is us owning basically our own stock, stock that we had issued previously and then purchased back. Final answer, stock reacquired, B, treasury stock.